What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Liam McNeely's college recruitment. Before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Liam McNeely's a 6'7 small forward. He's a five-star prospect, ranked 11 by ESPN and 16 by 24-7 Sports. He's teammates with Cooper Flagg, playing for Mount Verde Academy, which is the best team in high school basketball right now. He was committed to Indiana, but decided to decommit in March. This is a huge loss for them because he was their highest ranked recruit coming in for their class. Liam is considered one of the best three-point shooters in the 2024 class. He's shooting over 40% from three in his senior season. Every Power 5 college would love to have a player like him on their team. He's a great catch and shooter, and he can create for himself from three. He's also sneaky athletic, and he can get downhill and make shots at the rim, so he doesn't always have to rely on his elite shooting ability. It's a few colleges that reached out to him, which are Kansas, UConn, Kentucky, Houston, and Michigan. During the media sessions for the McDonald's All-American game, Liam gave a shout out to Kentucky commit Boogie Flan saying this, one person that stood out to me is Boogie Flan, he's really good, he's getting the job done. Him saying that has social media buzzing and they both were talking a lot during the practices, so maybe Boogie Flan's trying to convince him to commit to Kentucky. Some people might not know this, but Liam was trying to convince Boogie Flan to team up with him at Indiana before he decided to commit to Kentucky, so it seems like Liam wants to play with him in college. He would be a good addition to Kentucky's 2024 recruitment class, being an elite shooter, they don't have a player with his skill set. Last season, Kentucky had Reese Shepard coming in, who was a great shooter, and he lived up to expectations, being one of the best three-point shooters in college basketball, shooting over 50%. He's projected to be a top five pick, so there's no guarantee he comes back. So if Kentucky lost him to the NBA draft, they could bring in Liam to fill that role and hope he can give the same production that Reese Shepard gave him. Kentucky does have six freshmen coming in, and with Liam, that's seven. That's a lot of freshmen coming in, and Coach Kyle's made it known to the media and Kentucky fans, he's trying to get older and not have a young team. Adding another freshman makes it seem like he wants a young team like he did last season. Coach Kyle's trying to get a bunch of transfers, and it's a possibility that some of the freshmen from last year might come back. Getting a few transfers should be top priority, not getting more freshmen. For Liam, going to Kentucky might not be the best situation for him. The other colleges on his list could be a better fit. He might not get a lot of minutes for Kentucky. He could be a starter for the other colleges that are looking at him, but it will be nice if Kentucky could get this elite three-point shooter. It might be a situation if he wants to come to Kentucky, Coach Kyle just has to figure it out. Can't turn down a prospect like him y'all feel what i'm saying plugins i'm sure kentucky fans would love to have him y'all let me know in the comments if you would like to see him added to the 2024 recruitment class or not the next college is kansas once he opened his recruitment they were the favorites 24 7 sports released the crystal ball predictions and two experts picked kansas it's not often that two crystal ball predictions are in favor of one school but keep in mind that happened with kentucky and uconn wasn't in the mix but now they are so it might not be 100 percent lock for kansas right now they only have three freshmen coming in adding Liam to the mix and making a solid 2024 recruitment class he would probably get a lot of playing time for kansas last season they only had one player that shot over 40 percent from three so he could come in and make a big impact for them if i'm bill self in kansas i'll make a strong push for him get the nil bag ready and get him signed the third school that could be the favorite is uconn right now uconn is the best team in college basketball last season they won the ncaa championship they have a good culture they win a lot of games and they arguably have the best head coach in college basketball if he wants to win championships and win a lot of games uconn will be the perfect fit for him he could get a lot of playing time they're going to be losing a few starters he could potentially be a starter for a championship team so uconn could be an interesting choice michigan and houston are also in the mix but i feel like he's going to pick the three colleges that i mentioned in this video but who knows he could shock us all and commit to michigan to houston but the new head coach of michigan did reach out to him and now it's his first call to recruit as a new head coach it seemed like Liam appreciate the coach reaching out to him so who knows maybe michigan has a chance Liam has stated that he'll make his college decision at the Nationals. He'll probably make some visits in May and June, so we'll probably hear some news on where he's committing sometime in the summer. Which college do you think he's going to pick? Drop a like on the video and sub to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you know when I post. I got more videos on the way. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.